the uh, fact that Fort Chippewan is the oldest settlement in Alberta. Um, Fort Chippewan Métis Nation are Aboriginal people in accordance with Section 35 of the Canadian Constitution. For centuries, the Métis Nation of Fort Chippewan has relied on the Athabasca and Peace River systems for transportation, hunting, fishing, and trapping, which are basic survival skills for the community and survival needs for the community, rather. They rely on traditional lands and waters for medicinal, spiritual, recreational, cultural, and economic purposes. As well, their Indigenous knowledge and language is passed generationally on the land. In an economical sense, Fort Chippewan Métis Nation have also used rivers and lakes within the traditional territory for trading, hauling wood, commercial barging, and commercial fishing. These navigable waters within Fort Chip Métis Nation territory do include the Firebag and Muskeg Rivers, and they continue to be a key transportation route, which enable them to continue their commercial and traditional way of life. The tailings water seepage and overspill that has occurred since last May is something our community has expressed concern on for decades, the risk of tailings ponds breaking and destroying home waters. This prediction coming true will forever change the trust and confidence on the land and Alberta's ability to regulate the oil sands. The community has been on high alert since February when the overspill occurred. Community members are reporting a potential loss of drinking water sources, a loss of a place to retire, of their children never being able to swim off the dock in Fort Chippewan again, and forever contaminated fish, which is a weekly, if not potentially bi-weekly part of their diet. Uh, we have people uh, reporting to my office, and these are all reports uh, to my office, uh, these concerns that people aren't sleeping at night, of fear of what news will arrive the next day. Mr. Gerard was born and raised in this river system, and for the first time in his 50 years, he has a fear of getting a bucket of water from the river to cook his supper, brush his teeth or wash his face. And he has worked in the oil sands for 20 years and this fear has never risen before. He's also wanted to comment that you can never haul enough water to your trap lines to stay for longer per periods of time. <clears throat> if a land user spends any amount of time on the land, there is no possible way you will not ingest water from the river and lake. Since the committee met last Monday, Reports of overflows at Suncor have been on the news, and this is going to become a continuous thread. The generational trauma that has gone on with the cumulative loss of ancestral territory has come up unmeasured, but now a glimpse of Fort Chip Métis concerns with tailings related issues has come to light. The health of the land, water and community needs support. As other neighboring nations have brought up last week, Fort Chippewan Métis also requests an overall health assessment for the community. It is clear that the community is suffering from decades of environmental racism and generational trauma. The existing regulatory system is not designed for the protection of the community and land. As Mr. Girard wanted to convey, our connection with the land can be described as like the Métis symbol, one side being the land, one side being the people with never ending motion. Since 2007, the management and oversight of the Imperial Curl Mine did not address the concerns from the judicial review panel statement of there being a high risk of seepage. The solution to reducing the risk of tailings and giving the land back upon reclamation is not dilution of these polluted waters into the Athabasca River. Alberta and Canada are both pushing forward to develop regulations to allow partially treated oil sands mine process waters into our rivers the same rivers that flow into Lake Athabasca and onward north to the Arctic Ocean have been and continues to be the grocery store for Fort Chippewan Métis, the pharmacy and their way of life. 